You can experience the impossible with world-renowned Connecticut-based magician Tom Pache. Yeah, he's on a mission to combine the world of education with the magic of motivation. Love it. All to fight teacher burnout, which is a real thing. So thank you for being here. We're excited thank to you. learn more. It's a real thing. Yeah, I've been teaching for 20 years and kind of combining what I've learned in the classroom with what I've learned performing for Fortune 500 companies all around the country and mm -hmm. trying to help teachers reinfuse their classrooms with the love and the passion that they uh, went into the profession yeah. wanting to teach with. And you teach what? what, what I teach sixth grade English. That's I taught fourth grade, sixth grade, and I love it. Oh, that's wonderful. But yet you're this motivational speaker that goes all over the place. That's right. I get to go to educational conferences, um, schools, convocation days, where, you know, one of the things we see, especially since COVID, is, you know, this teacher shortage. Teachers saying teacher, even halfway right. through their career, um, maybe there's something else. Maybe I've mm. lost some of my passion. And what we realize is they really haven't lost the passion. There's just these other factors factors that uh, once we can solve, we realize that they, they can really get back into unlocking their greatest potential for their kids. And do you help kids. them solve it through magic? I do. So we infuse magic with it. And uh, would you like to see yeah, something? You're gonna, you're yeah, you're magically this is, help this us. This is great. Well, Scott, this is um, for you. We'll do something. I actually had a Spanish teacher who, I don't speak a lick of Spanish to this day, but she has <laughs> such a connection with us. And I think a lot of teachers feel like they need to bestow that information on their students. But really, first, the foundation is the connection. Yeah. Right? Sure. So uh, I'm going to use a book she taught me with called The Little Prince, we read it in Spanish, this is in English. And um, Kara, could we also do something? I would like for you, this is like, you know, back in the day we used a chalkboard, okay. right? And I'm gonna give you some chalk to use. I'm gonna ask you to hold it just like a children's book like this. And in about 10 seconds, if you could just draw a picture. They say that we are most impressioned between the ages of nine and 13. So just think back to then. I kind of stopped drawing at that point in my life, but just a picture you could do in about 10 seconds or less. Um, not as simple as a square or a star, but not as intricate as a Picasso painting. Just Does that anything? make sense? Anything you'd like. Okay. Okay, don't let me see it though. Just hold it at the edges. There's your chalk. Uh, and I'm gonna ask you, Scott, would you just tell me to stop anywhere and look at the stop. first word on that page? Do you have it? Don't let me see it. Do you have it? The first yes. word on that page? Yes. Great. Just think about it. Keep it in your mind. Uh, I'm also gonna grab a uh, chalkboard and a piece of chalk and just think about your word right now. Look at the end of the word. Okay. You said it first, didn't you? And then you went to it. Okay. Uh, he's blinking three times. Is that a consonant? Like an L? No, an S. It ends with an S? Yes, it ends okay, with an S. Okay, look at the beginning of the word. Mm -hmm. This should work. Um, yeah, I'm seeing the connection. Uh, did you have a teacher around fifth grade who was hard on you for spelling? Yeah, I couldn't stand it. <laughs> I had a feeling. What was your word? Bundles. That's crazy because that's actually, yeah, that's Stop the it. that's the word. Okay, that, but here's here's the really cool part. Um, I, I told you I stopped drawing at a certain age. I'm also going to just kind of uh, try to get in tune with something and draw what I loved in about about nine years old. And Kara, you drew something which I'd love to see in just a second. Uh, we didn't talk about this before. We didn't ask you to do anything in particular. No. You, you got to do this. Could you show everybody what you drew? This is so bizarre. What I is it? You're gonna... I drew a cat. You drew a cat? Like Garfield. That is crazy. Do you know in fourth grade, we had done a project on cats? <laughs> How, how that is so crazy. But wait, Kara, was there somebody around that time, like uh -huh. 9 to 13, who kind of impacted your life or influenced you in any way? Yeah. What, who was that? Well, she was my best friend, Dana. Dana? Yeah, Dana. This is so weird. You know, oh, <laughs> when no. we have that friend that fosters some kind of ability in us, it usually sticks with us our entire life. And you are an amazing artist, by the way. <laughs> but do you see that envelope right here, Kara? Okay. That's literally been here since before we started. Yeah. Could you just, yeah, take that. Mm-hmm. And open it up. I haven't touched it. I haven't. It's sealed. Okay. Because something came into the studio, I think, this morning. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Dear Kara, thank you for believing in me. Love, Dana. <laughs> How is this How happening? are you doing this? How are you doing this? This is this crazy. This is so awesome. So look, we try to empower teachers to not only uh, you know believe in magic, but foster that connection with their students. And whatever line of work you're in, whether you're an entrepreneur, a teacher, um, we're actually putting on a leadership conference with my friend Ryan Edwards and Brandon Love in Niagara Falls on May 4th weekend. And we hope that uh, a lot of educators, administrators, um, or entrepreneurs come and join us. It's going to be amazing. Do do the teach do, the, do they come up to you and say, hey, you've changed my out my outlook on teaching?
teaching? Do they come up to you and say that? Oh, for sure. The, the, the connection that I have with so many teachers that, you know, we, we get to still meet and talk and mm -hmm. keep that relationship going is what's like. And uh, how are you able to teach full time and yet do this at the same? You should be Spring on break. Yeah. Yeah, Broadway. <laughs> It's a great job that gets to go hand in hand. You know, they're, they're kind of symbiotic together. So I love doing it. That's really so remarkable. So this is awesome. So uh, just, we're gonna, before we run out of time, is, is there one thing that you want people to know about how we can reverse teacher burnout, like in a sentence? Yeah, well, you know, first of all, it's it's reconnect with the with why we do it. And that's uh, the passion that we have with kids. And passion doesn't always mean it's easy. In fact, passion means that with it, which is worth suffering for. So sometimes it's, it, it's a bit of a struggle to get there, but the reward is so great. And we want to give the rest of the tools that we're going to reveal more in our leadership conference. It's called the Peak Leadership Summit and they can go to peakleadershipsummit.com um, to get more information and join us, and it's going to be incredible. Well, I bet you in about 20 to 30 years, somebody's going to be on a show like this, and they're going to say that you influenced them between 9 and 13. Well, thank so you. So congratulations. This that is, is the name, Dana, that you made me write down and not tell you. Unbelievable. All right. Yeah, that's how we spell it with a Y. I don't, I don't get it. Head to okay. peakleadershipsummit.com for more information. We, again, we can't thank you for joining us. Kara, remarkable show. I, I don't understand, but I <laughs> want to learn more. Uh, I want you to learn more and join us for Eyewitness News at 4. That starts right now. <laughs> it was great. Thank you so much. What else can you do? Hey, we'll do one more? <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll do a quick one. All right, so this is the ability you have, Scott, right? Because uh, that was kind of beautiful.